Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay. Alright, I gotta tell you guys about Scorpion last night. If you guys haven't seen it, I will have the link from last night's episode down in the description below. Because I promise you guys, yes, it is new. I will talk to you guys about... We'll talk about Scorpion. And then we'll talk about uh, what's going on tonight. Alright. So, last night's episode of Scorpion was really crazy and these are spoilers ahead and if you guys haven't now before you guys anybody who continues on watching me please go and if you guys haven't seen it please go click down below because i will have the official link of of the episode from cbs okay so this is where i so so what happened was, and these are spoilers, the whole entire episode was about Happy, who ended up meeting a girl, a teenager girl, online. She thought, you know, she's going to go right to the house. Turns out there was a, turns out there was a storm, electricity fallen into the house. Happy finds out that this teenager girl is not just an ordinary teenager girl and not even smart yet. She is, in fact, is in a bubble. And it was created by NASA. Uh, and despite that the fire department was so ridiculous as trying to get NASA on the phone, um, they Happy ended up trying to take over. So, she ended up, um, so she ended up, uh, trying to find, so she meets the girl, she finds out what was going on, and upon that, uh, she gets help. Uh, so, she calls in the guys uh, to, ha to have her to help out, and it turns out... Uh, there were a lot of things happening, and despite this girl was inside a bubble because of an illness. Yeah, the reason why she's been put in there is because of an illness, as her father had told everybody, I, I think, or she actually, well, he told Paige. Yeah, actually, yeah, he told Paige, and I think, I think it was Walter who eavesdropped, because he has some strong ear hearing. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was Walter, I heard. So, he, the the father of the teenage girl told Paige about his daughter. And Walter overheard him um, saying that about this illness. And he really wanted to help. Uh, even though he was supposed to be focused on working with, um, with Happy. So, it started off with... Walter and Toby trying to get to remove debris is off the bubble, but with live wires, that really ruined it. So because of this, um, the so because of that, they had to figure out another way. So they had to get a hazmat and some kind of oxygen tank, 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 to make sure that it was. Totally sterile. Sorry for messing with my eyes, but uh, I had to get something totally. Had to make sure everything was totally sterile for her to get in, and which she did. And it was an only way to get her out of the bubble. Well, so she did. And despite there was going to be. Despite there was going to be more complications along the way to get her to a restaurant that has a meat locker, and that was a, a fro or a frozen room, a freezer that would help her out. Uh, despite they also had to get it um, rid of bacteria and stuff. So along the way, a hey, trying to get her to that 
location, she actually has hives. So because of that, she had they had to make a detour to a honey f a f uh, a farm, and where she was in fact um to do to she yeah where she had her hives were was all over her body including her face, yes, and. They had to get her out of the ha that hazmat suit and into a tank of honey. Okay. Or was it actually a barrel of honey? Okay. Which she did. And she was submerged in it while she has an oxygen tank and surviving with it. Which until they got her. Um. Till they got. Till they got her to the rest. Until they got to the restaurant and to the uh, freezer that has already been covered with uh, flammable gel, which apparently uh, that happened, and they put her in. Anyway, the plan was to put her inside of it, and soon as and cutting off her oxygen for like at least a minute, and. They lit it up, and they, and the whole entire thing was burning, and her inside of it with the honey, and it somehow formed some kind of, um, some kind of uh, casing on top of her, her, and lucky for her because she had her, she had an earpiece, and so happy to communicate with her, or so. Um, she would end up uh, getting out of there when Happy told her, because after a minute. So once the flames were extinguished, she got out. That's when Happy asked, told her about to ask the question about that, and she got out, and she got out of the that like broke out of it, and she was all covered in honey and. She was no longer having hives, and she was and she was normal again. And but despite of everything what happened, I mean, it was it was kind of funny, but kind of cool and crazy. But now she is like she had to be there temporarily safe, and the last thing. The last thing, what happened, and especially what, how the whole entire thing happened was that both Paige was heartbroken because, because of Tim Armstrong had to, was, ended up expanding his contract there and Walter let her have some space because he read it at the some kind of magazine because he doesn't want to make everybody angry at him. And that's not the only thing. It turns out, so th during the whole entire episode, there was a video that was circulating thing out there because of, um, because of what happened with, um, with uh, Sylvester shaking the veteran's hand and then wiping his hand off, and everybody got so, and that, and I think Patel was cheating on that, and he had forced his manager, who was dang and came, to send it out, and I was, and I was sh shocked that I had found out, and you know, and you know, she should have done things better in, in order to protect, in order to, uh make everything a fair fight. And they actually went to find that um that the uh, veteran, that old man was it served that country. He too knew knows that he did not like he too also had problems and folks because he just like people with sweaty hands. So that he understood. And he was not mad about that. But Patel went really dirty and to or, in order to win and that was just 
totally wrong. I was like, wow. But I don't know if he, I, I don't know if that, I don't know what happened with, um, I don't know what happened, but I think maybe Patel won. I, they didn't spoke about who won the election, I guess, even though despite Patel went that far and hard in order to try to win by setting a video out of the time of the elections, which is kind of dirty and cheap. <laughs> but... <clears throat> when Cape found out he had no choice but to dump her and he hated that so despite both of them were sad they had to be happy because they had to help out that teenager girl well, and uh, so they did to make her feel happy and uh, as for Happy Quinn she you know, she did what she tried to do, and I and also, <laughs> you know, everybody realized there were a lot of things going on with happiness and whatnot. And you know, in the end, everybody was good. And even though Walter <laughs> had kept the promise, which I'm not sure if he will keep, but I'm pretty sure he will. Okay, so that so that's one thing down. Another video, another thing. There is not going to be. I know since it's that Tuesday. Hey, ugh. Hang on, I'm burping right now. Ugh. I'm really. I haven't anything to eat or drink yet, and it's actually. I don't know. But, but I'm going to let you guys know that, um, but I'm just letting you guys know that there is no new episode of NCIS Bull or NCIS New Orleans because I should have known that ha there was no advertisement and because, um, though, because CBS is going to be airing off a repeat of NCIS tonight, and then, because since CBS, ABC, NBC, I think even Fox, and some other out news outlets will be airing off, um, will be airing off, uh, the presidential address, but... I, I, I'm very kind of sad and mad about that, but it is what it is. But, anyway, guys, I'm pretty sure everything will go back normal next week, okay? So, until, so until we have our shows by then, thanks for watching. Bye.